Hey y'all. <laughs> Ooh, today I'm having Popeyes finally. <laughs> um, yeah. Still not a hundred percent, but um, I mean if y'all know I'm recovering from, you know, a nasty bug. <laughs> but uh, I'm hungry and I'm ready for some good food and yeah, I'm ready for something really delicious. And I think Popeyes is about to deliver that. I don't know what all they got in here. Hopefully they got everything I ordered. We shall see. Uh, uh, before I start, apparently there was a big thing going on at Popeyes today. My poor Dasher, I swear, I wish I'd have given her a bigger tip. <laughs> and if I'd have had some extra change around the house, you know, I'd have, I'd have slid her another, another 10 or so because it was a ruckus. <laughs> According to her, it was packed. I mean, super packed. It's Friday, so you know how it is. And um, they had so many people in there. They were yelling at the staff. I mean, you know, my little my little 20 minute wait turned into like, you know, over half an hour or more. Um, so I felt really bad. <laughs> I felt really bad because she 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 went all out. I mean, and I asked her, I asked her if she could get me some extra sweet heat sauce, and she said she said got you. So you know, I wish I'd have ordered on Door uh, on not DoorDash but uh, Uber Eats. Um, I mean, Lord knows if I'd have got the same kind of service, because this girl, she went all out. She hung in there. The first dasher that took my order, she gave up after like 10 minutes. She's like, oh shit, this ain't happening. I'm out. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but anyway, let's see. What all do I have right, on, right off the bat? I don't see my drinks. I had two 22 ounce unsweet peas. Don't see them. Ooh, I got a buffalo chicken sandwich. I got some nuggies. I got a regular red beans and rice because I didn't figure I needed all that much. Let me, see. Let me just tear this pop up bag to get down to the bottom. Hey! Oh, uh-uh. Oh, uh-uh. They got my order wrong. They, they just, they done, I know they got my order wrong. They got it wrong because I ordered two, two-piece combos. First of all, I didn't get my drinks. What the hell? I ordered one nuggets. I got three nuggets. Anyway. And the mac and cheese. I ordered a large mac and cheese. I mean, it's like half a tub. Half. According to Nick, I'm gonna starve. I'm gonna. Well, the, ma the mashed potatoes is full. The I ordered the large mac and cheese and that was like an extra dollar. And, you know, I'm glad they filled up my, my mashed potatoes because that was, that was an extra $2. All right, let me see what the heck they did to me here. Oh, Lord have mercy. Well, shoot. <laughs> Okay, well, I might not have got all my food, but I got the sweet heat. I got the sweet heat. I'm pretty certain I didn't get my fries unless they stuck fries in a nuggy box. They did. They stuck my fries in a nuggy box. Nuggies. I'm mad. <gasps> biscuits. I got my biscuits. Did they, did they stick all four pieces of chicken in here? No. Well, I got chicken. I got chicken at least. 
but I got a thigh and a wing. I didn't get a thigh and a leg or two thighs, but whatever. I'm gonna enjoy my food. I'm gonna enjoy my food. Yes, I am. <sighs> Nick told y'all about my Popeyes. <laughs> he told y'all about my Popeyes. It's questionable. It is questionable at best. <laughs> I got all the sweet heat, all the sweet heat. Yeah, I did. That's good. That's good. I'm happy about that. All right. Well, let me take the lids off of this stuff. Man, I, I'm like, one of the main things I wanted today was the mac and cheese. And I feel like they shorted me on the mac and cheese. You know, that's the way it goes when you can't get to the restaurant and order your own food. But Miss Brianna, my dasher, she did her best. Buffalo ranch sandwich. Nick got extra sauce with his buffalo ranch sandwich. I did not, however. But, it looks pretty enough. And it's all wrapped up in paper to keep some of that, that, ooh, that red. Looky there, look at that. The red sauce and that big old pickle sticking out. I'm about to bite into this first. I mean, what, whatever. Maybe the pepper will <laughs> be a help anyway. Okay. Should I take the... Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. Mmm. Mmm. You know, I was totally a fan of the spicy chicken sandwich. And I'm not usually a big fan of buffalo sauce, but this isn't all that bad. Mmm. Mmm. I feel lucky. Because mm. mm. I have survived Bud Light. <laughs> mm. Mm. Not just that, but I never lost my taste of <laughs> my taste, my sense of taste or smell. Boom. I'm gonna move these. 
Mmm, man. Well, I mean, it still feels warm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 mac and cheese. is all I need right now. <laughs> oh, but it's good. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Bust open a sweetie. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Mm. All right. Let's have a little chicken nugget. Ooh, those look good. Oh. Ow. Juicy and tender. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 Oh, that's really good. Chicken thigh. Missing your incorrect items. Got it. biscuit in the side but I did not get the chicken and the tea. Submit. <clears throat> oh there was more. Beignets I ordered. Okay. I 
Didn't receive this item. Continue. Okay. Didn't get. The, okay. Continue. Um, I did not get the track. Thank you. 1616 and DoorDash credits for all the stuff they did not give me. Done. Great. Mm. Oh, I ain't even gonna write the store right now. Oh, I got chicken crumbs all over me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, I want to make sure I got my refund on that. Mm-hmm. 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 This ain't spicy. This ain't spicy chicken. Dang it. still good <laughs> but I don't believe this is spicy chicken Got enough food. I will. I will admit that. But I don't like to pay for things that I don't receive because that happens way too much. Way too much. Mm. And red beans and rice. Mm. Mm. Wow, <laughs> it's good. Hmm. There's not much in there, though. Y'all know all those. Keto snacks I ordered. It was a bunch of bullshit. Bunch of bullshit. <laughs> the two that I received out of the four things I ordered were nasty. I did not get the chicken skins I wanted, and I did not get the bread. Said delivered, but it was not delivered. You know, you know, chalk it up to porch pirates or something. And that's probably the case. On both of those days, I was in bed like really, really late. So, somebody just took it upon themselves to wander off with my things. Mm. 
you know, whatever. I, just, I need to be very wary of when things are being delivered so I can be here to listen for it. What I really want is a camera. That's what I really want. But we're not supposed to like, like nail stuff in the walls or, you know, affix things to the walls out there. I bet you that there's a way to put that stuff up without drilling into the, into the building, I'm sure. Mm. All right, I got a wing. I like wings, so I'm not too mad. I just wish it was spicy. annoyed with all my low carb nonsense already I ain't saying I'm giving up I'm just saying I'm annoyed very annoyed to be honest uh, it's me it's all me you know I'm the one <laughs> that's you know making it this way it's just you know just little things like that like ordering stuff and then not getting it and then the stuff you get is like funky and sure if I got in the kitchen and made stuff myself I'd probably be more satisfied but And I should have known that this was going to be an issue. Mm. You know, I think... Mm, I think I might... I might be claustrophobic. I might be claustrophobic. I could be part of it. My kitchen... It's a galley kitchen and it's kind of a tight space. Um, I'm trying to fix it up to where I can work in there more easily. And I do cook a little more often. Mm. Especially if I need to take stuff out of the freezer and it's thawed. I'm compelled to get in there and cook, so I need to do that more often. Mm. Or maybe buy enough groceries for just like one week and then, you know, let that be it. I want to eat this biscuit. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 I love Popeye's biscuits. I think they're really good. Mm. <clears throat> mm. 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 Sorry for the snortiness. I need to stop and blow my nose again soon. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not 100%, but a person has to eat. Hmm. 
And a full disclosure here, this whole low carb crap, <laughs> as I'm sitting here pounding the carbs, <sighs> you know, I feel like I put so much pressure on myself that I kind of set myself up, you know, for failure. You know, kind of set myself up for it. I mean, and while I lost a few pounds, <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy, I binged, you know, probably more days than I actually stuck to the diet, diet, you know. And not all, not on carbs either, just everything I could get my hands on. You know, I triggered myself so hard by saying, you can't have, you know, so yeah, I just, I think back constantly at trying to figure out what it was that actually worked for me. Why? You know, number one, I had a very overbearing boyfriend, you know, that basically forbid me from ordering delivery. You know, I, I was forbidden. <laughs> I was forbidden from doing a lot of things. Pause, I have to blow my nose again, pause. Okay, yeah, I don't wanna keep that mess in me. I need to get it out as much as possible. Uh, let me get drink this tea. Penis, they didn't give me my unsweet tea. I'm gonna drink my sweet tea. So, um, yeah. Overbearing boyfriend forbid me from ordering delivery. He would just go pick stuff up when we wanted to shoot a video or whatever. And, um, well, I was on my way down from 500 pounds. I, I had gotten all the way up to 509 pounds. I, I told y'all this. And on the way up to 500 pounds, I'd been messing around with a feeder. Mm -hmm. Yes, online. And This fella gave me money constantly. I mean, this is this is not something that happens very often. This was kind of like a unicorn, you know what I'm saying? Because I have yet to meet another person like this who was like, just buy whatever you want, indulge yourself. Here's my credit card numbers, <laughs> information. You know, you just order as much food as you think you can eat. And there you go, so. Multiple times a week, I was ordering like $100, $150 worth of delivery, and it was just, I was living high on the hall right there for a little bit. But, when I started to go down, that's when this fella had disappeared for a while. <laughs> he still sniffs around. He does. He's like, I miss you, and I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> But, yeah, see, that's why I don't, I don't mess around with folks like that very often. Because it's dangerous for me. You know. Someone say, here, just go crazy, eat whatever you want. You know. So I didn't have that going on. And at that time, I was having like a little ethical um, dilemma. I was trying to eat a lot more like meatless products. I was doing a lot of Morning Star and stuff like that and um, and other, you know, meatless options. And, um, ooh, that's a big one. That's a big nuggie. So there was a lot of that going on. I was making a lot of like casseroles and things like that with vegetables. I was making like veggie lasagnas and Mm. 
Mm. And like for breakfast, I was having like frittatas and things like that, like with lots of fresh veggies in it, like Swiss chard and you know tomatoes and all kinds of stuff, or spinach and mm. and I really enjoyed that stuff. <laughs> had a galley kitchen then but the difference was I had a person that was in the kitchen doing what I told them to do <laughs> to prepare food I mean I could still do it I would go I would cook my breakfast but big things like lasagnas and whatnot it was kind of a team effort you know we would both get in there and cut stuff and put things together and you know it was it was fun it was nice mm. Mm. my main food i think was probably like just morning star like burgers and stuff so I felt like I was eating fast food, but I wasn't. Mm. They have some really good nuggets. Mm. A little garlic parmesan nuggets and barbecue nuggets. Mm. Mm. I like that cheese. Or. Oh wait. Mm. 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 So there were, were a lot of factors that led to me losing that weight. Mm. The difference here is I don't have anybody telling me anything or <laughs> making me feel weird about ordering delivery. And I'm just free to just do whatever the heck I want whenever. <clears throat> so without any kind of, what do you call it? Um, hmm. You know, and it wasn't like that over at Susan's. I wasn't forbidden from ordering stuff. It was just if I wasn't ordering food at the same time they were ordering food. If I just like went off the cuff and just ordered whatever I wanted, you know, I didn't want other people to like be like, oh, I want that. You know, it was kind of like a we agreed to do certain things together. You know, so I had a little bit more self control, I guess. You know, considering other people's feelings. But here, I would just order whatever, whenever, you know, which one of my biggest dilemmas about that situation it is not even that I've gained I gained a lot of weight, you know, it's it's detrimental to my health. Uh it was more like costing so much freaking money. You know, and, and the problem with binging off camera, I mean, this is, this is a binge. It's not really, I mean, you know, I'm going to eat till I'm full and then be done. I'm not going to like, you know, stuff it in until I'm ready to pop. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Um, so that, that's a problem. You know, you know, doing the whole like food eating out thing without, you know, a return on my investment, you know, and that's a big important thing to me is a return on investment. If I'm putting money into something, I want to get something out of it, something back. And if I'm not filming, you know, all it does is go in the toilet eventually. <laughs> And that's ridiculous. I, I, you know, don't do that, Candy. 
you know, I need to, I need some hobbies. <laughs> I need hobbies. I need something to do with myself. Mm. Mm. Or more people in my life. I need distractions. Because mm. I always have to have something going on. You know, I, I can't sit still and you know, just be, you know, my brain's always working. <clears throat> always thinking about my next meal. that year I lost that hundred pounds I wasn't on any diet I remember lots of times where most of what I ate in a day was like candy I would sit and eat like uh, you know those Hershey's chocolate chunks oh man I would have those bags not the kisses, the chunks. I would have bags and bags of them around all the time. And for some reason, eating a few pieces of, of chocolate, like, curbed my appetite so much. I would barely eat, like, one full meal a day. I would be satisfied with two little Morning Star burgers and, you know, a little package of nuggets, you know. <clears throat> Which weren't super high in calories. Oh. Mm. And those little chunks are not really high calorie either, about 30, 50 calories or something. You eat a couple of handfuls a day. It's not going to like destroy you. Mm. Man, I'm getting full. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I'm going to keep going because I'm not full, full. I'm not full full yet. Mm. Okay. I have to keep going. Mm. Mm. But I don't know what it all amounts to is I'm not doing something right here. You know. I obviously feel denied enough that I'm binging rebelling for myself like what the hell is that about why do I have to rebel against myself you know and then I completely self-sabotage so where I lost 20 pounds or you know right at 20 pounds I got I got down to 440 from 460 at the end of the day and um <laughs> I already put 10 pounds back on full disclosure you know that's my binging butt and you'd think being sick would deter me from eating, but no, it has not. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not, I don't eat like this every day, obviously, you know, or I would be 500 pounds already again. You know, I at least, you know, I at least oh, rein it in <laughs> enough that, you know, it's not too crazy. But, um, you know, I used to be really good at maintaining, really good, you know, and I don't know. Uh, anyway, I guess ultimately what I'm trying to say is, you know, it's time to like rethink my situation here and go at it in a different, at a different direction or whatever. You know, uh, so not only am I, I'm doing therapy, I'm trying, I'm trying with the therapy, you know, and that's, it's going okay, you know, 
same old, same old. And there's not really much to talk about, like, you know, <laughs> obviously, I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. You know, I just keep shoveling it into the void. Mm. Uh, no matter how much I pack it in, you know, it's, it's never going to fix what's broken. Never going to fix it. No amount of food, no person, nothing. Nothing's going to fill it. Bottomless pit of want and need and desire. You know, and desire is not like a a sexual thing. You know, it used to be. It used to be that used to be my drug of choice. You know, but if you think me eating like this is dangerous, the things that I would do with my body were equally, if not more, dangerous. You know, I would meet strangers on the corner. You know, I'd be like, you know, <laughs> yeah, just. Just pick me up on the side of the road, you know, we'll go off sight unseen, never seen these people. Just talk to them on the phone. You know, I'm, I'm lucky I'm not buried in the woods somewhere, you know, from, from the time I was like 15 or 16, you know, because that happens. I was the kid that would get in the van and just be like, okay, that happened, you know. <laughs> That happened. Moving on. Ooh, I gave myself chills. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I was like, how many situations did I survive as a teenager until I was 18 and just married the first ex-convict I met? It was like a, um, it's like self-preservation. You know, this, this person wants me. They want to keep me and maybe they'll keep me safe from myself. <laughs> because, you know, no matter what monsters and dangers are out there, you know, my, I'm my own worst enemy. Always have been. Always have been. So... Maybe someday I'll let somebody else in that I, I think I can trust. Because that's what happens. You know, I put my faith in a person, you know, and I, I think they're going to be the answer to everything. And, and then they disappoint me. <laughs> they disappoint me. I lose respect for them. And I run away. <laughs> That's what I say about expectations. That's the lesson I've learned about that. You have expectations on somebody, you're asking for disappointment. I know a lot of y'all saw me make this attempt and all of a sudden the expectations started firing like boom, boom, boom. Oh no. I never said I was on a diet. I never said it was permanent. It was definitely an experiment. I've done okay on low carb before, but ultimately it's been failure over and over and over again. So I'm not doing something right. The whole like, like flexitarian, like flexible vegetarianism, whatever you want to call it. That was kind of the best thing I was doing, but I never labeled it anything. I never, never made an attempt to like diet or call it anything other than I'm just not eating meat today. Let's see what I can create that's meatless, but delicious. You know, let's, let's save a, <laughs> let's save a land hippo today. <laughs> 
I swear, that was the funniest shit I've ever heard. Oh God, I swear, Nick comes up with some of the best stuff. You know, and, and yeah, he, he wanted me to eat the mac and cheese and, and it's good. I just, you know, I wish it was hotter and more gooey. I mean, yeah, might save that little bite right there and put it in the microwave later. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> he was saying, stop making cows. <laughs> Some land hippos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Eat more potatoes. Mm. You know, the cows that eat more chickens. over this meal already it was good I enjoyed it I really enjoyed it uh, oh let me finish my taters mm -hmm. but basically and uh, close your kids ears right here if you got kids watching me because they shouldn't be you know I, I try to I try to keep it more um PG but uh, some words do slip through and I'm about to give you some blue words right here but basically the diet that works for me is the eat whatever the fuck I want diet that's the one you know no restrictions no rules you just eat whatever you want but if I'm mindful about what it is I'm eating and I keep in mind that I don't want to be wasting freaking money you know if I'm gonna binge on anything I either need to do it for you guys or my patreon or my OF y'all know what that is or my clips or both you know, I could have ate this topless and, and, you know, made a few hundred bucks straight up. <laughs> you know, you don't even have to be topless. <laughs> you just don't, don't even have to. Oh, uh, but yeah, yeah. Keep my money in the bank and just be mindful of what it is. You know, and, and stuff like this, it should be great, like, maybe once every week or every couple of weeks. But, oh, and this was a lot of food. Mm. But I did want to try the, the nuggets, too. That was another thing I wanted to try. Mm. So, even though Popeyes took some money from me today, um... They did me a favor by not giving me too much chicken, you know. Now the freaking sweet tea wouldn't have hurt me. It's like, why didn't I get my tea? But anyway, <laughs> Popeyes was insane today, so that's probably the the main reason I didn't get everything I ordered. It was I can't believe, you know, I can't believe how people act in public. You know, they're yelling at the staff at Popeyes. It's like, why are y'all gonna yell? Just leave, go somewhere else. You know, <laughs> if you got a problem with how things are in the in the late afternoon on a Friday, then, you know, go home and cook your chicken. <laughs> you don't yell at people in public. What's wrong with you? Who raised you? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, people act, you know, yeah, I expect people to act like fools on the internet, you know, you know, just be bullies and mean and hateful and snotty because, you know, their life sucks so they got to make other people miserable. It's like, F you people, F you, 
You know, nobody needs your bull crap opinions. You know, go cry in your basement. You know, <laughs> get over yourself. You go get therapy. You know, I mean, treat people with respect, you know? You know, people, people, uh, People talk to me about the Bible all the time and stuff, and and I'm I'm perfectly okay with Christians. I'm perfectly okay with the Bible, and the Bible has some really awesome rules in it. You know, you know they they basically the golden rule is treat people how you want to be treated. You know, and, and I'm pretty sure that came from something in the Bible. And maybe like turn the other cheek or whatever. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't know know if the golden rule was part of the bible or if that was something else i'm thinking of could be mm. <sighs> anyway you just don't be a dick <laughs> you know that's that's the that's the gist you know just treat people like you want to be treated oh what you reap you sow you know you want to go out there and be mean to people you know what happens when the chickens come home to roost you know People be mean to you. It's not nice. Hmm. Yeah, Christianity has its own karmic law and rule of three, you know, basically. What you reap, you sow. You put that out there in the world, it's going to come back and bite you one day. You know, it don't cost anything to be kind to other people. You know, But, uh, okay, off my soapbox, off my soapbox. Well, I really enjoyed the buffalo chicken sandwich. It was nice. I did like the mac and cheese. I think it could have been better, you know, but I'm not blaming the mac and cheese. I'm, it, it's, it's probably just a Popeye's issue today. You know, probably just a Popeye's issue today. You know, if it was, if it was more packed, like I feel like it should have been, and hotter even but i'm not blaming him it's a popeye's issue you know my poor dasher had to sit there forever and wait <laughs> yeah so it was really good i really i liked it it was it was worth trying and i will definitely have it again someday um but yeah my whole like health journey it's not over i'm, I'm not done trying you know, I need to get back down to 400 pounds one way or another. And then further down the line, you know, <laughs> as I can, you know, being this heavy sucks. Um, oh, I should mention this. And, you know, a lot of y'all are going to think I'm just crazy, you know, which I am. But that's besides the point. Um. I think I might have mentioned that, you know, I listen to a lot of like healing frequencies. Um, those, uh, um, what do you call them? <sighs> so, Fratio? God, I can't pronounce those words. <laughs> I'm going to go to my YouTube. Mm. In my library. Uh. Mm. Well, subliminals, that's one thing. Oh, I need to move that one up because it's a really good one. Oh, there it is. It's S O L F E G G I O. Solfregio. Fegio. Solfegio. Actually, whatever. What the frick ever. Um. <laughs> Frequencies, anyway, binaural beats, rhythms, whatever. Um, there's been one I've been using lately that's really been like hitting the pain. I mean, really, really like dulling my pain. Uh, and I found something else. And yeah, uh, you know, I've been complaining for over a year, maybe more, about sciatica pain. Like, like, starts in the lower back from herniated or bulged disc or whatever. 
stuff, whatever happens, you know, I haven't been diagnosed, but I know what it is. Um, and then the nerve pain like radiates down your legs. So I've been dealing with that for, for a long time. I mean, I already had really, really bad arthritis in my hips and my knees and whatnot. I mean, just bone degenerated. Well, maybe not the bones, but the joints like degenerated. Um, basically, <laughs> I saw a meme the other day that I posted on my on my public Facebook. Um, oh God, what was the meme? Freaking, freaking brain, cooperate with me. <laughs> oh, where you at? Where you at? Where you at, meme? <laughs> okay, well, I don't do squats, but that's the joke. Um, it says, when you, when you do squats, are your knees supposed to sound like a goat chewing on an aluminum can stuffed with celery? <laughs> and I, the, in the title thing, I said, I don't even have to squat for my knees and hips to emit that sound. Good times. <laughs> but yeah. That's what my joints sound like, basically. I'm like, crunch, crunch, crunchy. <laughs> Just every joint. And it's horrible. Um, so the arthritis is, is still a problem. Um, but have y'all heard of these uh, uh, Grabavoy, Grabavoy, or whatever, quantum healing codes? Uh, it's just been going around on TikTok for a long time. And there's this one uh, that apparently was listed in some CIA documents that were released or whatever. And it's like 55515. That's the one, you know, well, I use that a lot, okay? And it helps with little aches and pains or whatever. And when you say, you can say it over and over in your head. What's happening there? Oh, oh I've been on here an hour already. Oh, my battery's flashing. Oh, anyway, the sciatica one is 8747838, and that stuff works. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank y'all for joining me. I will see you again next time. Bye now. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just want to displace this in. Uh, my battery was going, so I, I just, I put this, I'm doing this on my phone. Um, I started to talk about those, those quantum healing codes that have been going around on TikTok. Well, that one that I gave you for sciatica, uh, 8747838, eight, what you do is you either, like, write it on the body part that you, like, want to heal or whatever, or you, like, you could just trace it on the body part, or you could, uh, what do you call it, like, write it on a sticky note, type it on your phone and put the phone on you. Um, and just think about healing or whatever. I mean, and there's like 59 pages of codes. So there's lots and lots of codes uh, for you to work with, um, in this thing. Um, I paid like $3 to somebody on Etsy for a copy. Uh, and I've been using them lately, but I'm going to tell you what, um, it's been, it's been several days. I, I I don't know exactly how many, maybe three or four days or whatever. Um, and I've had absolutely no sciatica pain. None. I, uh, take that back. Uh, y yesterday, I started to kind of like get a twinge of it. But I just, I just wrote the code down again. You know, typed it into my phone and, you know, just thought about it or whatever. And that 55515 thing... Um, that works too, but you have to like repeat it a lot and like really, really focus. But somehow that sciatica one, it was like, boom, the next day I felt better. <laughs> you know, um, I still have the arthritis. That's still really like annoying, but you know, I think I can keep my sciatic pain under control with this code. And it's just, it just freaks me out because it just goes to show that maybe we are in a simulation <laughs> maybe because if if numerical codes and frequencies 
you know, vibrations and whatnot can, like, work to heal you. I mean, <laughs> you tell me. I mean, you tell me. How did, how did that work for me? You know, it's maybe a placebo. I don't know, but how does a placebo heal sciatica? I mean, seriously, how? Anyway, I mean, mind-body connections, whatever. You know, uh, I'm about to start working with the obesity one. <laughs> there's there's one for weight loss and one for morbid obesity. <laughs> so, my butt's going to be writing these numbers all over my fat body. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm, I'm done. But, okay, <laughs> love y'all. <laughs> Bye.